<coughs> how to use Pencil 2D, the animation app. So I've downloaded it and we put it in applications. And so I just double tap it and it pulls it up. So let me show you what you do to use Pencil 2D. You can see there's a pencil on the screen. And if you click and hold, it draws something. All right, so not that I need that or anything. Just showing you. So let me go through all the tools that we have. We have the pencil tool, the eraser tool, sorry, select tool, the move tool, pen tool, hand tool, polyline tool, paint bucket tool, eyedropper tool, brush tool, and smudge tool. So I just usually stick with um, pencil, but let me show you what the other main ones do. Pen is basically the same, it's just like that, so it's not really much different from from the pencil. <coughs> the pencil is like that, so you kind of see the similarities. Um, the paint tool, you can go down here and choose a color. I'm going to do dark green. And if you click on it, it changes the whole background. So, like, so you just, yeah. So, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go back to black because that's my color that I use. Um, and then paintbrush tool is basically the same. It's just, like, black for some reason does not work really well with the paintbrush, but, like, red. It just, um, I think there's something going on with this. Hold on. There we go. So, you can just paint. It's a little bit wider, usually. You can make it really wide. Um, it's like a snake, sort of. But if you just, like, wanted to make the whole thing red then you could just use this the very wide paintbrush and yeah so that's how you do that and the eraser tool which can be full cool. you can erase um I'm just gonna click I'm just gonna take away the whole thing and then the pencil is probably the easiest the tool you're probably going to use the most and change the width um basically the same but yeah so, so i don't usually have it that wide i usually like it like this okay this is too hard then okay there we go that works and so let's just talk about the layers down here. You can see down here there's a bunch of layers. So you have the bitmap layer, vector layer, and then the camera layer. So it's not really, I mean vector layer, this is what happens. So the most recent one you draw is turns blue. I don't really like that. So I just stick with a uh, bitmap layer. So let's talk about how to make an animation. So you can see there's a go backwards button, a play button, a go forwards button, and a uh, loop button. So I usually like to use Um, just regular play. I don't usually loop things, but in that case, let me actually show you an animation I made. Um, here it is. But to sorry, I'm trying to just pull this up. I don't 
Actually, sorry, hold on. But here's an animation I made. I'm going to put it on loop and just show you what it looks like. And it's not that great. But then some person comes along and laughs. There is one slide that there's no person. Um, right there, yeah, he disappeared. But I'm going to take it off loop, and so it should stop at the very end. So that's the animation that I've made. Um, so let me go back to Pencil 2D. Applications. So let me show you how to draw. I'm pretty sure you all know. I already told you that it's just hold it down and draw. So I'm going to draw a circle. And then you can, down here you see keys. This is to add a frame. This is to remove frame. And this is to duplicate the frame. So if I were to click duplicate, it means on the second frame, it'd be here. So like if you wanted to start making like get eyes in the second frame, then keep clicking it. And then he starts to grow hair. And then like I'm not doing. So, and then you want to him to start getting a mouth and then like a body so it's like for to just add on so and then keep adding and then add again so yeah, and now you have that, and now if you click the play button, I have it at four frames per second. Um, I don't like it too fast. If it was at twelve, and it was just way too fast, I felt like so I brought it down a little bit. Let's try six. See, so it just kept like growing. So that's what this little button for. But, and then the minus is to remove the frame, so I can delete all that. This is to add a frame. So, if you want to draw, and it was like something moving, it's like you could draw a line, and then add a frame, and you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, what in the world happened? Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that if you have the older version, it happens, but if you have the newer version like me on the Mac, um, you go over here and you see previous frames. And if you click on this, it actually shows what happened. You're like, okay, now I have a gray line on my screen. No, that's just to show you where it was. So now, if I want to, I can draw like this. And then add a frame so it shows what happened. And then add a frame. It's supposed to be a line moving. And then add. So this is just not to keep it there. It's just to um add another frame so if it's moving so here's what it looks like and it's just a line moving you can even slow it down a little bit yeah so that is that, and see, I'm pretty sure that's all you need to know. Colors over here, all the different tools up here, the width and everything down here, onions, actually onion skins. I just used the previous frame. I don't really use anything else, but oh yeah, to move it, you just click on the little highlighted line, or yeah, and then you go there, and then delete. I just... You can do Command Z, but I just find this easier. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and bye.